This video is on bandwidth management. Internet and intranet applications demand a certain amount of bandwidth. Admins need to make sure adequate bandwidth is available for mission critical applications while fewer resources are dedicated to spam or peer-to-peer -peer downloads and properly manage bandwidth. To do this, you need to monitor network traffic to ensure data flows as you need it to. The term traffic shaping describes the mechanisms used to control bandwidth usage on the network. Admins need to control who uses network bandwidth, for what purpose, and what time of day bandwidth can be used. Traffic shaping basically establishes priorities for data traveling to and from the internet and within the network. Packet Shaper essentially performs two key functions, monitoring and shaping. Monitoring includes identifying where usage is high and time of day, and after that information is obtained, admins can customize or shape bandwidth usage for the best needs of the network. Quality of service describes the strategies used to manage and increase the flow of network traffic. The features enable admins to predict bandwidth use, monitor that use, and control it to ensure bandwidth is available to the applications that requires it. It can generally be broken into two categories, latency-sensitive and latency-insensitive. With limited bandwidth and networks becoming increasingly congested, it becomes more difficult to deliver latency-sensitive traffic. If network traffic continues to increase, and you can't always increase bandwidth, the choice is to prioritize traffic to ensure timely delivery. And this is where QoS comes to play. Quality of service ensures the delivery of applications like video conferencing, VoIP telephony, and unified communications without affecting the network throughput. It achieves most efficient use of the network resources by differentiating between latency-insensitive traffic such as fax data and latency-sensitive streaming media. One important strategy for QoS is priority queuing. Essentially, traffic is placed in order based on its importance of delivery time. All data is given access, but the more important and latency-sensitive data is given higher priority.